Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome you for the media briefing at Euro to Year 2010. My name is Benoit Passar. I'm responsible for the marketing and communication of the Delaval Group. And I can promise you that we are not going to uh, keep you too long uh, because I'm sure that what you want to do is ask the questions directly to the specialists. So the media briefing will have one of the major tasks is to introduce to you a couple of key speakers from the company and you will have plenty of time then to uh, ask all your questions. If that's okay, and with no further ado, I would like to introduce to you uh, De Laval, our CEO, Joachim Rosengren. Thank you very much, Benoit. Thank you. Thank you very much, and most welcome here. Uh, it's our pleasure to host you at our stand. Thanks a lot for uh, allowing us to steal your uh, time here for, for a short hour or so. We are very excited to show what we have on our booth uh, this year. It's been quite some time since we exhibited our products here at the uh, Eurotier, but now we thought it's really time to do it again, and we will unveil some, some of our latest innovations today. Uh, just to start with a perspective, uh, let's not forget that we are all contributing to uh, the well-being of the people of the globe. We are part of supporting the dairy value chain. 44% of all people on the globe drink milk every day. And if we listen to the United Nations, uh, we need to double that production uh, in the coming few years. So I think looking at macro data around the globe, we can look at a very healthy consumption increase and an increasing demand of dairy products. Now, I don't want to uh, get too much into the details of the uh, macro data of the world because all it matters is really for our customers visiting us here today to take away what can be uh, used of the uh, De Laval products to make the life and the profitability on my farm, on your farm, better. We have solutions that meet customers' needs all over the globe, uh, and our ambition is to be um, uh, present all over the globe. There are millions of dairy farmers on the planet, and every one of them are different. Our ambition and strive is to contribute to every farmer's improvement on their farm. Whether it's the first milking machine bought, a simple bucket machine, or if the farmer decides to go for the cutting edge of technology, and I have to say that perhaps we are showing more of the cutting edge technology and the latest innovations on the stand here today. We also share one important dynamic with all of our customers. We are in here for the long term perspective. So is dairy farmers on the world. So sustainable dairy farming is a key leading world that's the umbrella over everything that De Laval strives to do and deliver. Uh, a farm is not sustainable if you cannot show a good animal welfare, that you cannot meet the cu customers or the consumers' imagination of what they um, want from animal welfare. And from an environmental point of view, be careful with the resources that we use, optimize the yield, optimize the use of resources, and you will optimize the environmental footprint. From a social point of view, uh, very much is about uh, the daily life excess of labor today in the industry and not the least farm profitability. Let's not fool ourselves, uh, a dairy farm cannot be sustainable if we don't have a sustainable profitability on the farm. De Laval has been in this business since the first innovation was launched, launched 1878. And on this trend line behind me, you see quite a few of the innovations that we've had the pleasure to launch. Um, it started with the separator 878, and I think if we jump to the VMS 98, we see some real cutting edge technology step by step being introduced. The Delaval Sendel Count to 2003 actually received the Euroteam Gold Medal 2003. The Navigator and the OptiFeed are uh, solutions that you can look at in the exhibition today. Uh, they have been on the market for, for some time, but they are good examples of um, the information and analysis that's needed to feed into your herd management system in order to run your farm professionally. 
all of these innovations that you see here, they were unique at the time of their presentation. And now we are proud to unveil the automated milking ropery just behind you there. Uh, this is the latest uh, innovation in uh, the step of many that will, they will serve as a complement to automated milking and a complement to conventional milking all around the globe, we are sure. I won't hold you any longer, but I will hand back to Benoit and then we will jump straight into all the details and talk about the products on the stand. Thank you for being here. As mentioned before, what's important is that you can identify the speakers. They will be here. Mr. Rosengren will be with you for individual interviews. Many have already booked their time, so that's good. Uh, the booth is quite big. And by the way, I should welcome most of the competition and most of the industry because I see uh, very well-known figures in the, uh, in the public uh, among the, uh, on top of the journalists. So you're all welcome to listen to that presentation. Um, the visit of the booth, or in order to facilitate the visit of the booth, because there are so many different things, uh, we have a small road map, or we have the red uh, figures that are hanging in the ceiling. The reason is fairly simple. For all of us, we see robots. But our story is that there's more than robots in smart farming. And it starts with the brain, with the intelligence, capturing, understanding your herd. I heard it yesterday evening from a, a farmer from South Africa. I don't need to bother about whether the milk is going up or down. The only thing that I can control is how much I do know my herd. Because then I can treat them good and I can feed them good. And that's the, I would like with those words to welcome the very first speaker, Mr. Fernando Macieres, who's going to talk about the herd navigator and on a prize winning uh, development of Dolaval and the OptiFeed uh, presentation. Fernando, please. Thank you very much, Benoit. Good morning, everybody. A pleasure to be here. And as he said, it is not just about robots, okay? And because milk to really produce, for a farmer to produce large quantities of milk, of very high quality, it is it's mandatory, it's required to have an efficient and healthy and productive herd. And to be able to do that, it's really important to have a very good management practice of that herd. And so therefore, herd management is one of the really basis of farm profitability. And during these day here, we are exposing several of the herd management solutions that De Laval has to offer as the Alpro system, the Delpro system, and on top of that, connected to both of them, the most revolutionary herd management tool that is called Herd Navigator. Herd Navigator is a step further in traditional herd management. It's what is called, or we call, proactive herd management. It is a tool that through the automatic individual cow anal milk analysis, it is measuring continuously different parameters in milk that can help the dairy producer to be, to be able to take the right decisions with their own cows and therefore improve profitability. Those parameters are related to improvements in reproduction, like automatic heat detection, like automatic pregnancy checks, like detection of ovarian pathologies and so on. Other health, because the tool is able to detect clinical and subclinical mastitis even before the human being can detect them and feeding and energy balance. All these things are really extremely important to be able to run a very efficient operation. And we are very pleased to see the performance of several of the farms that are running the system where they are able to achieve savings of about 250 to 350 euro per cow per year. As we're talking about profitability, one, as you all know, one of the real or the most important cost of a daily farmer running an operation, it is the feed cost. They count, it depends where we are in the world, from 50% and above of the running cost of a farm. And therefore, 
whatever we can do in that area, it will really impact farm profitability. Because also feeding, it has a direct relationship to the level of milk production, to the reproduction and to the health of the, of the herd. Today, you are able to look over there in that part of the presentation of our OptiFeeding system. It is a very important, it is a modular system that can adapt, adapt itself to different farm configurations, okay, for different herd sizes, and then delivering functionality from a very simple, just roughish distribution to a complete automatic loading, cutting, mixing, and distribution of roughage or total mix rations. This, of course, has a huge impact on labor, on labor reduction, and allows to do a real frequent feeding that would be impossible to do on a manual basis. And this frequent feeding, let's say feeding six, eight, ten times a day, is, is well known, improves consumption of feed, is also allowing to have less wastage of feed, and therefore high milk production, and also for automatic milking, higher cow traffic that is essential to get the cows milk more times and completely. So that's a very important area that I welcome all of you to really take a look during these days at Eurotier. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Fernando. We went through those figures in the uh, hanging in the ceilings, the number one and the number two. And we are getting now into the third area where you think, historically, that's where we have had been uh, most present in the making and the cooling. And in order to uh, make that presentation, I'm going to invite Andrew Turner. But before that, and because you are all here to see those beautiful robots behind you and this one, uh, I'm going to invite you to uh, watch a short sequence, a short movie, to see how those robots that are operating behind you, how they are operating in real farms. So please see a few uh, minutes of the movie and the uh, testimonials from the farm. <laughs> 